Hello everyone again and welcome to Dr. Vicky TV. I'm really excited today because this is the weekend that I have to really guide those of you that have been asking about Mandela Washington Fellowship. I have this whole weekend for you. So let's take it step by step. This one is how do I start? Because that's the most confusing stage. You know you want to, you want to apply. You know that you are worthy of the application of the selection process and um, the fellowship entirely, but you don't know how to start. Where do I start from? So let's start step by step. The first step is for you to go to the website, uh, Manila Washington Fellowship, because you cannot apply for something that you don't understand or you don't know much about. Yes, your brothers, your sisters, your mentee, mentor, and everybody, they've been telling you about the fellowship, but you have to do your own diligence. Let's go. So when you go to Google, Mandela Washington Fellowship, yes, I've been there before, so it will come out automatically. <laughs> so you go to the website. Yes, this is the first page that you are going to see. And when you get to the website, I think the first thing you should do is to go through it, look through uh, these are the dead, uh, the outline of the timeline. Um, August 15th application has opened already. September 12th application will close. It's going to close by September 12th. So if you have anything to write and submit, please start now. So it's going to, the semi-finalist will be informed by November 23rd. November 2023. Okay. No specific dates. So by March, the final selection will be done. So May, they will start the visa processing. It's a very good opportunity. Don't miss it. June, you'll be on your way to the United States. Yay! <laughs> let's go to the US. Okay. Um, let's quickly go through how you are going to start. So you start from the overview. Um, take your time to look at the overview. It's for people that are between 25 and 35 years old. If you are between that age, that's a plus for you. So go through the page, um, the components, the leadership institutes, the summit, the professional development experiences, and um, reciprocal e exchange. Uh, there are also opportunities for alumni. But that's not your headache right now. What you are concerned about is how you are going to submit a convincing application so that you are going to be considered at least for the interview, then after the interview, for the final uh, fellowship. So when you have gone through this, let me see what is important here is for you to just pay attention to these things. You can click the links in order to read thoroughly about them. But because I'm just showing you the overview of what you should how you can start let me move to the um, how can I apply for the fellowship stage so how do you apply here you have to read this one very well learn about the uh, how to be a part of the next generation of African leaders this fellowship is for leaders and I'm sure you have it in you and um, for you to be interested in the first place that means you have a seed of greatness in you like something is in you that desire greatness but you have to have been great like you should be doing something in your local communities in your environment it doesn't have to be like humanitarian work it doesn't have to be charity it might be your work the work that you do every day how are you impacting other people's life it's not everybody that will do charity uh People that are building businesses, that are giving you employment, if they are not leaders, if they are not creating employment, are you going to get jobs? So it's about you having initiative. It's about you having this leadership mentality. So go through it. Okay. Um, it's for leaders. Um, participation in a six weeks, a six weeks leadership institute at the u.s college or university to share your experience with and learn from u.s citizens and other fellows so you are going to be learning from each other you are going to be learning from professionals you are going to be learning from experts uh, it's really good it's really good i tell you it's really good so you just click this button and start your application but before you start your application read thoroughly read thoroughly we've gone through the timeline already read thoroughly the selection process and criteria this is very important uh is from is merit based it's not like i know somebody i don't know somebody no it is merit based after the deadline they will start reviewing the application i'm sure they are inviting us now to come and join the independent readers people that will read your applications and 
say, okay, this one is worthy, this one is not worthy. I don't have enough time for that. So I'm not going to be joining that group. But make sure that you submit something that can entice somebody like me. You know, it's somebody like me that will be reviewing your application, isn't it? If I put in um, my interest now that I want to be part of those reviewing, I'll be there. But I don't have the time. So if you are going to be writing, write something that can impress somebody like me. Because most of these people that have gone ahead that are already alumni they are the ones that are going to read your applications first so make sure you write something that you know can impress people that are already exposed <laughs> so that at least you can scale the first order so make sure you re read it properly who is eligible we already talked about that you are a leader you are between 25 and 35 years old um you are eligible for visa you are not employee or immediate family member of employees of U.S. government. You know, you are not a citizen of the U.S. So all this, make sure you read them. I'm sure lots of us are in these categories anyway. Um, so the criteria for the selection, pay attention to this. It's about leadership. You have a proven record of leadership and accomplishment in business, entrepreneurship, civic engagement, or public government service. Everybody is eligible, really. I've seen government workers, people that are working in secretariats, and they made it to go to one Mandela Washington Fellowship. I've seen lawyers, I've seen doctors, I've seen accountants, I've seen dentists. It's, it's something that is open to everybody, especially if you are a professional. Automatically, you, are, you have something that you are thinking about that you are using to impact other people's life and how you help people on a daily basis. So try and put in the uh, energy uh, into the application. Let it be felt that you are really impacting people's life. You are a leader and make sure you putting good application so read the requirements very well and um, you are good to go another important area that i want you to pay attention to is the tips the tips from people that have you know done the application before very important pay attention to those tips don't play with them let's go look for them here um review our tips for preparing a strong application review those tips they are important it might be when you are just writing a line or two that you will remember one of these words and you'll be able to apply them because keywords are important keywords are important if you are trying to put your words together you are trying to tell your own story but we couldn't find substantial arguments in your writing you know it might not really be as touching as you think it is so make sure that you read these um tips it was really funny when i made it when i was there i've seen people that have applied four times five times for this same fellowship i applied just once and i got i got it so putting the best putting your best you know tell your own story um it's that simple it's about you telling your own story so read the tips people have applied and applied and applied i'm sure you will you are going to make it just once if you follow these steps it's not hard so the selection criteria are used to evaluate applications and what each one means then 10 key tips to keep in mind during the application period so read all these tips read them selection criteria you have to have proven record of leadership you have to have you have to have demonstrated commitment to public or community service. You have to have the ability to work cooperatively in diverse groups. You have to have strong social and communication skills because you are going to be doing interview, are you not? So you have to be able to communicate. You have to be able to put your thoughts together and be able to sell yourself. So these are the things that they are going to be looking at when you submit your application. So read all this and I'm sure you are going to be good. They also put 10 key tips here for you to read. Don't procrastinate because time is going. September 12th, it's gone. Um, save your work when you are applying. Do not copy and share answers. Be original. Um, answer all questions in English, of course. <laughs> Proofread your answers. Don't come and submit application where we are going to be saying full stop and comma in between your lines. Make sure that you 
go through them uh what i always advise is that when you are done with your application give it a day then another day come back and read from the beginning to the end read out loud so that you'll be able to you know if there are two spaces that is supposed to be just one space you'll be able to eliminate it if there are places that you're supposed to put comma you know in sentences you'll be able to put that so i'll advise that one early morning when you are fresh and nice and you are just waking up pick up your application and read through so that you know that it's clean and nice and acceptable level of English. So proofread your answer. Use real world examples. Hmm, this one, I'm going to address it later because it's a whole lot of issue on its own. This is exactly what you need for your application. Real world examples. They want to know that you're actually doing what you say you are doing. So it has to be real. Um, talk about how to submit your application online this one is already here so make sure you read 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 and read so highlight your accomplishments hmm. sell yourself that's the short word to say so this is about you telling us what you are up to isn't it who else is going to do it for you you have to be the one to tell us about your accomplishments you have to be the one to sell yourself so make sure you put your words together in a beautiful way and um, don't be shy don't try to limit it you know don't own that on it you know sell it sell it sell it sell it sell it sell yourself so share your impact and goals yeah what have you been able to achieve who are the people that you have changed your life their life sorry so you have to be able to tell your impact and your goals in your application that's the way forward so read all this and i think return to application information yeah with this you'll be home and dry there are also some other testimonies that you can go through when you read this uh, so that at least you have you have you can see from people's experiences what they went through when they are doing their own application it's in phases do you know the application phase shortlisting phase interview phase then the final shortlisting phase i really wish you the best i'm sure you are capable i'm sure you are able i'm sure you are going to make make it so in the next video i'm going to be telling you about storytelling how you are you are able to how you are going to be able to put your words together and um do you write your application because writing is the most difficult part it's easy to tell you what to do but when you get to your laptop and you're on your own how do i even put it together do you i even start that's the most difficult part of writing it's the same everywhere until i got to the uk these things don't you know they don't they, they, they don't just make sense to us in africa because we are we are not trained to tell stories we are trained to you know cram the hardcore of these books and put them down we don't really talk about real life scenarios. We don't use real life examples. So it's difficult to really put stories together. So I'm going to be talking about storytelling and as applied to Mandela Washington Fellowship application in the next video. So make sure you watch it right down here on my channel. See you in the next video. All the best.